friends, welcome back to another Mina Monday. Today, I am finally, finally giving my room a much needed makeover. So as you can see, the walls are pink. I am now 19 years old and I've had these walls, like this color wall since I was eight or maybe even before. So it's been almost like 11 years and I wanted to paint them for a long time, but then I was like, oh, like I just don't want to do all the work of like moving the bookshelf, moving this giant vanity in my bed. And so I didn't do it. And then it was like junior year of high school. I was like, okay, I really need to change my wall color. But then I was like, I'm going to college, so it's not gonna matter. But here I am back at home for a while because of what's going on. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to at least make my room look nicer. I can't really go get paint because of what's going on. But I was like, you know, some of these things need to be changed. And so that's what we're going to do. And so it's gonna go from childhood bedroom to Pinterest makeover dream. At least I hope. So here's what it looks like when you walk into my room. First of all, I have art everywhere. There's art here. There's art here, here, and there's art here. I'm not saying that they're good, I'm just saying they're there. And I don't really wanna get rid of them, so I have them. But I have no place to put them. And then I have some art supplies, my desk. This is from senior year. It said September, and I never changed it. And so I just wanna get rid of that. I don't watch the soccer team anymore, so I need to get rid of that. So this is the desk before. And then we move on to, see like I have like my old laptop and stuff here. And then I have this bookshelf. This needs to go, this curtain, she needs to go. It just, it's too, makes my room look too childish. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with my bedside table. I've done a lot with her. My bed. This blanket doesn't fit right. I don't really know what to do. Um, but there's something I gotta change. I used to have Polaroid strung up here, so as you can see, there's the little thumbtacks because I had twine and then they hung from there. But when I went to college, I tried to, I brought the Polaroids to college, so I don't have those anymore. Then I have my mirror here that leads to my closet. And I have my vanity. And then it leads us back to the front. So I first started off by taking everything off of my wall that was in front of my desk. I also had to do things such as take some screws out of the wall from hanging up that calendar whiteboard. And then I just wanted to kind of make a blank slate so that I would know what to do. Then I cleared my bookshelf and other things in my room. And these are stuffed animals for my boyfriend and his mom. So obviously I can't get rid of them because I wouldn't want to because they're so sweet. Um, and up here are dried flowers from every like bouquet of flowers that my boyfriend ever got me. And so I also want to keep those. And then I need to get rid of these books that I'm never going to read. After taking all the books off my bookshelf, I started to put them in this box so that we could donate them or store them, whatever my parents wanted to do with them. Here, I'm trying to figure out how I want to decorate my bookshelf. I have no skills like Mr. Kate. So it took a lot of different tries, but I eventually got really happy with it. I put those flowers for my boyfriend that I dried to there, some photos of friends and I, as well as just a little bits of my art and other decor. After I was done with my bookshelf, it was time to start working on the wall collage that would go over my desk. So if you want to see how I did this and what materials I used, 
and just more direction about that, be sure to watch my five DIY easy aesthetic room decor ideas. I will have that linked below, but watch it after this video. And then can we just talk about how my bed was a mess? You can see that I had my cute teddy bear since like birth there, which of course I love, but this bedding just did not fit well. So that had to go and I had to put some stuff on that blank space in my wall. Okay, so I just did part of my room. Um, do you feel like I need to lower the tapestry? Can you back up a little? Actually, I can see it. No, I think it looks good. I think it's well centered. online all like they don't have like this edge part so i'm just gonna do my best also let me know in the comments what you think about this tapestry if it should be lower um luke said he thinks it looks good there but let me know I had bought this curtain way before this whole thing started. It was like right when I came back from school, I went to Target and I was like, oh, that's so cute because I wanted to redo my room. But what I did not realize was that there was only one panel. I might just be dumb, but I thought that all curtains came with twos, but I guess they always come or typically come with just one panel. So I realized that. Uh, so I'll have to buy another one later, but you're only going to see the one in this video. <laughs> A big problem in my old room was that I had a lot of stuff so I needed more storage to put things in and so I put this clear storage case in and then I put my sewing machine on top. Here I'm just doing a couple more finishing touches, swapping out some decor and changing small things around and then I'm essentially going to be done. This took a couple weeks to do just because I was doing schoolwork and things but I'm glad that it's finally done. I'm really happy with the results. Okay friends, um, this is really dirty, but this is the new and improved part of my room. Hope you enjoy. So you can see that I moved this mirror from my closet door to my room door. I actually like it here a lot more. I feel like I can take better mirror pictures even though it has backlighting. I think it'll be fine. I have this over the light switch. I have my Juicy Couture bag here just because it kind of ties in all the pink. I've been starting to love pink again. Yellow used to be my favorite color, now it might be pink. I decided to keep some of my paintings here. These are my bigger ones and I stored my smaller ones. Here's the before and here's the after. So right off the bat, you probably notice I don't have the other curtain here, but that's okay. I will get it eventually. You can see I put my stuffed animals for my boyfriend and his mom here and then here's my record player.
And yeah, that's all I have. Thank you so much for joining and for watching. And let me know how you are doing during this crazy time. And please let me know what other videos you'd like to see. I hope that everyone is staying safe. It'll be okay. There are some changes that are happening in the world and that need to be made and we'll figure it all out. But yeah. Bye.